Hello again everybody and welcome back to another vlog. So today it is about 5 after 1 in the morning <laughs> on June 1st um, and I'm going to be starting another vlog. So currently I am cleaning my apartment at 1 in the morning. I'm doing laundry, I clean my floors, um, doing dishes, you know, just random stuff. I just wanted to clean my apartment so I thought 1 in the morning would be a good time to do that. I'm really weird, so um, if you can like hear my voice, <laughs> I'm getting sick and it's really weird to me because I have not been sick, like I haven't had a real cold since November of 2012. That was literally like, I swear to God, that was my last cold that I've had and I, a few days ago, like I've been having like throat issues, like my throat has been hurting, like the cold is coming. And then sure enough, my glands started to swell up and every time I swallow, my ear hurts. So those are literally just the beginning signs that a cold is on the way. So that's awesome. <laughs> so um, yeah, my voice is a little bit on the horse side, so I'm sorry about that. Um, so yeah, I wanted to start this vlog now because tomorrow in about um, less than 12 hours, I'm actually getting my Marilyn Monroe tattoo. If you've been following me for a while, then you know that I have been wanting to get a Marilyn Monroe tattoo for a very, very long time. Like, it is just, it's a long time. Like, it, it needs to happen and it finally is tomorrow, so... That is what I'm doing um, tomorrow at one o'clock. Hopefully I feel okay. I'm gonna make like some lemon water or something. Um, yeah, I just cleaned my kitchen floor so it's still kind of wet. And then I have to go get stuff out of the dryer and I need to put my piercings back in because I have tomorrow off. So <laughs> I can wear my piercings, yay! Um, let's see if I can grab them really quick. Yeah, my throat is just like, um, fire and I don't have like a fever at least I don't think um and I'm not having any other like cold symptoms like I don't have like a stuffy nose at all it's like all in my throat so I just need like some hot tea or something but um so I'm just gonna put my tripod in really quick and put my piercings in and go get my stuff out of the dryer so there we go so the only piercings that I really have to worry about putting in anymore are my nose piercings and my ears so I'm just gonna pop all those back in. Might as well do it on camera. Why not? You guys like that kind of stuff. Tootie, how are ya? You having a good night? Great, awesome. We're pulling it all night, or what do you think? Good. So I'm just gonna pop the retainer out and pop this guy out. Number one. Hoop number two. Yay. So I just have my double nostril ring in. I really, really like this look, so I'm super excited about it. I will do like an update on how the second one is doing. This is the, like the healed one that I've had for years, and then this one is somewhat new, somewhat not, so I'll do an update on that, but really liking the double hoop look. And now time for the earrings. I do leave my cartilage piercings in for work. Like I don't take those out. I just mainly take out my lobe piercings, which my third lobes are quite stubborn. I have them back in, I'm excited. Okay, so that was a struggle. Like my God, oh, I just wish I could fucking wear them at work. Like. It would save me so much pain if I could just not waste time taking things in and out. Drives me nuts. Okay, so now I'm gonna go get the stuff out of the dryer. I think my floor should be pretty, pretty dry at this point, so. And it's like really, really hot, so I'm like sweating balls. So I'm like.
Good morning guys! So today is June 1st, which means it is tattoo day. I wanted to get it done on June 1st because um, if she was still alive, she would have been 90 years old today. So um, yeah, that is what I'm basically doing today. It is about 11.15 and um, I'm getting picked up at noon and then we're gonna go. So yeah, here's my makeup, just really like simple. I'm wearing Posh Spice by Jeffree Star Cosmetics on the lips and I'm wearing my... Um, Rob Zombie hoodie, some shorts, and then obviously my chucks, cause duh. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, last night I didn't really end that portion of the vlog. I just had to like fold all this stuff. Like, hi, there's my underwear. Yeah, I just had to like fold a whole bunch of stuff. And of course, obviously I didn't get to putting it away yet, but you know, whatever. But I'm nice and cozy and comfy and I'm ready to go. I haven't eaten anything yet, which is, um, stupid to do you know because you're getting a tattoo you don't want to like have your sugar get really low and then you just get really really sick so um i just packed like a pop tart and then some chocolate muffins to eat um in the car that way i don't go like completely hungry so yeah i will try to vlog a little bit of it um i'm not 100 percent sure if i'm gonna vlog all of it um yeah i don't know i just i just kind of want to get a tattoo and just like sit there and you know, not have to worry about making sure I'm getting good shots. You know what I mean? So I'm going to get ready to go. I will see you guys in the tattoo chair. Wish me luck. Say hi to the camera. <laughs> ah. Oh, I hit a button. Oh, that was your phone, I think. Hit Dolores. Ooh. Yeah, I was going to say, they hit Dolores. It's your boy again. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's why I don't drive downtown so I don't have to tear a little part. <laughs> It is just 7 o'clock right now. I just got back from my tattoo. Holy crap, my leg is on fire. It was about five and a half hours of tattooing. My dogs are going crazy. Uh, but yeah, it was $500 and it was five and a half hours of tattooing. Um, towards the end, I was like, oh my god, I just couldn't take any more. It was really bad. So, um, yeah, uh, just a heads up. I'm very, 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 very red um, and very swollen. So it doesn't, it looks a little big and kind of out there just because of how um, red and swollen it is. But I will go ahead and show you guys right here. So I got it on this thigh. So I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like. Ta -da! There she is right on my thigh sorry if there's like a glare but it's pretty dark right now um just like this one when i got this one done it was really really red and really really dark but obviously when tattoos first get done they are very um very fresh obviously so you don't see the finished product until it all heals um this was literally just done so it's very dark um, and very very red as you can see but once it does heal and peel and all that good stuff it'll look just like this one right here but um yep there is my Marilyn tattoo oh my gosh so it is pretty big that's what it looks like on the thigh there but I absolutely love it love it so so much absolutely beautiful the picture that we used her eyes were a little bit um, squinted in the picture so he opened them up a little bit more just to give her more of like a you know a better look so I like that he did that um, and we're just gonna add highlights like in her earrings that she's wearing because they're like had black earrings in the picture so we're gonna like highlight those to make them stand out more so they don't look like just like black blobs and then we're also gonna highlight in the eyes as well but yep that is what the tattoo looks like I am very very sore so I'm just gonna cover this bad guy up for a little bit longer like I said, if you guys have been following me for a while now, then you would know that this tattoo has been something that I have been wanting to get for a very, 
very long time now so the fact that it actually finally happened today i am just i'm so stoked about it i absolutely love it oh my gosh i am so exhausted like it is crazy how tired your body gets from just just laying there and getting tattooed like i feel like i ran a marathon like that is literally what my body feels like so oh, yeah that's the deal with that i also wanted to vlog something that is kind of awesome and exciting and that is i got a car oh my gosh brie has a car brie has a car brie has a car brie 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 has a car <laughs> so um yeah if you guys follow me on instagram and all that good stuff then you would know that i actually got my very first car um and if you also followed me for a long time then you know that i do not like to drive it is one of my biggest fears um, I'm going to be 23 in August, and I have never had a, li a driving license before, um, so I never wanted to drive. Um, as of recently, I decided to take the plunge and learn how to drive, so I got a car, and I got the car registered and insured, and I got my driving permit, so I will be able to drive. And because of my age, I only have to have the permit for 30 days, so I have to get 30 days worth of practice, and then I will qualify for a driving license um, where I'll be able to drive on my own. But um, while I have my permit, I have to drive with a licensed driver for 30 days. So um, yeah, but I do have a car and I figured I would go outside and vlog my car for you guys and show you what she looks like. And her name is Matilda. I got it from my coworker, Christine, that you guys just saw. Uh, that was her first car and then she recently got a new one and then gave me Matilda as my first car. And she said, I have to keep the name. So the car's name is Matilda and she's beautiful and I love her and I'm super excited. Like it's a really big like kind of push motivation to like get driving and get like, you know, really kind of pumped up about it so I'm excited for that so I will take you guys outside right now and I'll give you a little bit of a car tour um, things like that but I wanted to include that in this vlog because I think that is super exciting and I will take you into Matilda so here are my car keys that is so freaking weird like do you guys even understand how weird it is to say these are my car keys that's weird. I've never had to say my car keys or in my car or my car. Like, it's a really weird feeling. And my lanyard is Marilyn Monroe. Isn't that cool? Let's go. Hopefully my neighbors don't see me vlogging because that would be really, really weird. All right, guys. Here is Matilda. Here's what she looks like from the inside. She's just a little... Just a little tiny car. On um, the inside here, we just have the um, passenger seat, obviously, and I got these leopard print seat covers from AutoZone, and then that one has it too. Can we just take a minute to appreciate how close I have to sit to the freaking wheel? Like, this is insane. And then I also have like a pillow that I have to sit on, and then I have to sit like that close. It's insane. But yeah, here's what the passenger seat looks like, and then we have the back seat, obviously, and then here we have Motley's car seat that I have attached um, to this so he can sit in there while I'm driving. And Jackal's too big for it, so he can't sit in here, but he sits in the back seat anyway. But Motley needs a car seat because he likes to jump in the front seat a lot, and I can't have that as a new driver. So I installed his car seat here, and then the passenger side, obviously. And then we have the glove box, which is where I keep like paperwork. And then I have the vents, and I use these little vent clips. These are the Driven scent. It smells like a man, and I love it. Um, here we have this little hula girl. And then we have this, you know, obviously radio, all this stuff. More vent. I have my Harley Davidson sticker here. And then I have this thing for my phone, like my GPS or anything like that. And then here we have the steering wheel. I got this steering wheel cover from AutoZone as well. It just has like the black studs. And then we have the driver's seat here with my pillow to sit on. This is what it looks like when I drive. And I'm up high enough so I can see and I'm able to press on the gas and the brake. So that's good. I can reach everything. I'm just really, really close to the wheel, as you can see, which kind of makes me a little bit uncomfortable because if the airbag ever went off, it would do some pretty, pretty bad damage 
to me, obviously. So I don't really like how close I am. Like I would much rather have the airbag off. I would rather break my nose on the steering wheel rather than being hit 200 miles an hour by a bag. I also have a sunroof as well in case I ever want to use that. But when I drive, I usually like to have just like plain silence at all times just because I don't like to uh, have noise to distract me. Last time I drove was back in like 2013 and um, yeah, I drove like on the highway and stuff. So that was the last time I drove and then before that it was driver's training. I don't think anybody understands how big of a step this is for me. Like this is huge. Like this is a huge, huge milestone in my life because I am absolutely petrified of driving scares the ever-living shit out of me and don't ask why because I honestly have no idea but it just it scares me. This is Matilda. I thought I would introduce you guys to her so I'm excited. Super pumped. Why are you guys so loud? No jumping. Stop it. Stop. Why are you barking at me? I'm your mom. Shh. Shh. Do you guys want a treat? The boys. Hello again guys, so I wanted to show you my new phone case since I got my Marilyn Monroe tattoo today. My sister actually made me a Marilyn Monroe themed phone case, so I wanted to share it with you guys. As you can see, it has a lot of bling on it, and then of course we have the signature red lips, and then right in the middle we have the beautiful Miss Marilyn Monroe, and then we have the Chanel number no. 5 logo right here. There's like a famous quote by Marilyn Monroe, and she says the only thing I wear to bed is Chanel number no. 5, so I want her to add something like that in here and then we just have the um, little like female symbol down there uh, we have another set of lips here that are a little bit bigger and just like some more jewels and stuff and then we have just the black rose decal and then just more bling so I really wanted to share with that with you guys um, my sister does have an Etsy shop that I will link down in the description box if you want her to make you a phone case um, this is kind of what she does on the side for for people she makes custom phone cases for people so yeah um if you're curious to check out her etsy shop and all that good stuff i will leave that down in the description box hi guys so it is um, almost 11 o'clock at night and i'm getting ready for bed and i'm going to be wrapping um and moisturizing my tattoo here is what i use aquaphor really really good stuff and then i have a glove to apply the ointment to it and then I have my little cling wrap and then my electric tape to keep it wrapped up at night. Like that. Whew. Hi guys, so it is currently um, about quarter to one in the morning, uh, June 3rd, and I cannot get to sleep. <laughs> And the reason as to why I can't get to sleep is because I'm having a horrible, horrible headache. I can remember the last time that I had a headache this bad. Like, this one is actually making me, f like, physically ill. Like, I, it feels like I'm going to puke. Like, everything is tingly and I'm nauseous. Oh my god, and this headache is just horrible. Like, you can just see in my eyes. Like, my eyes are all red. I'm just... Oh, it's horrible, and I can't get to sleep. I don't know if it's from the heat, because I went to the beach um, with my friends today. So, I don't know if it's 
from the heat because I don't, I do tend to get headaches when it's really hot. So I don't know if it's from that or what, but oh my god, it's just miserable. It's right here. You can see I've been rubbing it. It's here and then right here, right in the crease of my eye. These two spots. And it happens on both the left and the right side, and it's just fucking killing. Literally, like, I can, like, remember exactly the last time I had a headache this bad. It was at my old apartment, and it was me and my ex-boyfriend, and I remember we were watching the movie. It has Vin Diesel in it. It was pitch black or something like that. And I remember being in just, like, excruciating pain, and this is, like, my first severe headache where I'm literally all by myself, like, all alone, so, it's just, oh my god, this hurts so bad, yeah, um, I'll show you guys how Marilyn is doing, here's what she's looking like on day two, as you can tell, still very, very red, um, like, look at my skin, right here, very, very red. I don't have anything on it right now. I'm just kind of letting it breathe. And then I'm going to put, like, ointment on it before I go to sleep. But, yeah. That's what she's looking like. Probably get up and take some ibuprofen and get a glass of water and just sip it down. Because I might be dehydrated. That might be the thing. Because when I went to the beach, I got a Coke <laughs> and not water. So maybe I'm just really dehydrated. Because that's what a lot of headaches start from is dehydrations. <sighs> This really hurts. Like, the room is spinning, and it feels like I'm gonna gag. Mm. If you're someone who deals with chronic headaches, ow, they really suck. And if you don't, fuck you. <laughs> Shimmy. And it's weird because I'm, like, I'm, I'm really hot, but I'm, like, shivering, like I'm cold. <sighs> I'm fucked up. <laughs> it's really dark. So it's, like, one in the fucking morning there we go hi <laughs> so yeah this is basically what i had to drink at the beach and not water because i'm stupid take it with gatorade <laughs> i hate swallowing pills fun fact about me <laughs> i never drink water this is such a rare moment That should help. Hey, over there. How you doing? You having a good day? Just taking a nap on the rainy day, Tootie? That's really awesome. That's great. Did you have a good dream? Did you get the squirrel? Yeah. Did you catch him? Yeah. Yes. Did you get the squirrel, Jackalberry? Yeah. Did you chase any bunny rabbits? Did you make friends with other dogs? In your dream? No? Okay. Okay, that's fine. Oh, you were so lazy today. So lazy today. Mm -hmm. Yes, you are. Are you being lazy too over there? Tootie. <laughs> oh, great. Can you come visit? Oh, yeah, man. Stretch it out. Stretch it out. That's awesome. Good job. You gotta be careful of my thigh. Do you want to go up on the big bed too? Great! Now you get to hang out with your brother. You guys are the biggest dorks, I swear. Look up at mommy. Who would like a... <laughs> you guys are so cute. Oh, got a little twitch over there. Got a little twitch over there. Great. Good dog. You're terrible. So handsome. So pretty. 
Hey guys, so it is currently June 5th. It is 11.30 at night and I wanted to show you the update on my tattoo because look it, she has begun to peel. You can see all the all the loose skin and all that stuff. As you can see, I'm still very, very red on the outer parts here. So this is what it's like to have dogs and hardwood floors. Do you see all that freaking hair that I just cleaned up? So I'm cleaning up my bedroom like I just washed all my sheets and stuff and then I moved the dog's bed and I washed all of their bedding and now I'm just like cleaning the area to get all like the dog hair out and stuff and then I need to wash um, their water bowls and stuff but like hardwood floors are seriously so ridiculously hard to maintain like I don't know why people prefer hardwood floors because I personally do not. I think they are just a pain in the ass and just a pain in the butt to clean. So basically after I sweep my floors, I will take my Swiffer wet jet and just like clean up everything. I also just went through their bed and vacuumed it and like all that good stuff. I put pillows in their bed rather than the mats that they came with because I feel like the pillows are way more comfortable for them. So yeah, I just kind of vacuumed all those up, got all the hair out. So now I'm just gonna be Swiffering my floors. Hey guys, so today is June 7th. It is about, I don't even know what time it is right now. It is four o'clock and I just got done filming all day. Super accomplished. I really didn't feel like filming today because today is literally my only day off all week. So I didn't know if I wanted to just relax, but I was like, you know what? I gotta do YouTube, I just gotta do it. Uh, Lips is Gemini by Jeffree Star Cosmetics. You guys will be seeing this in an upcoming video. And I also bleached my teeth last night. If you guys remember um, from a while ago, from my bleach teeth, my bleach teething, my bleaching my teeth for the first time video, I used it again last night just to kind of get rid of like the coffee stains and they look pretty good, so I'm pretty happy with it. Just got done filming all day. I filmed this makeup look using these eyelashes and doll parts lipstick, which you guys will see that makeup video coming up, and then I'm gonna come up with one for this lipstick too. So, yes, I'm actually about to walk um, to work because I'm going to give my friend her surprise today. So I went this morning and I got some um, driving practice with my mom today so I drove around uh, basically and I drove all the way to the Tanger outlet mall yeah I'm super proud of myself I drove all the way there super pumped so when I got there I wanted to get my friend a gift for giving me her car Matilda um, and it was funny because I was gonna get her a Michael Kors wallet um, just because and then literally she lost her other wallet so it's actually kind of a perfect gift because she needs a wallet now so I figured I would go ahead and show you what I got her so this first bag I'm gonna give her is in a Michael Kors bag but Michael Kors isn't in it basically we have this thing I love yellow Gatorade yellow Gatorade is the best Gatorade to me it's amazing it tastes really good so and she hates it she can't stand it she thinks I'm absolutely disgusting for drinking it so in the first Michael Kors bag as a joke, I got her I got her a huge thing of yellow Gatorade and this is what I'm gonna give to her first because she knows I have a surprise for her but she doesn't know what it is. So I'm gonna give this to her first and make her think that this is the surprise. But then I'm going to hand her this bag right here which is not in a Michael Kors bag. And when she opens it, she's going to see her present. Now, I already wrapped it up, but I'm going to show you guys um, what, what wallet I got her. This is going to be her surprise. Now, I got her... Ta-da! So this is the wallet that I got my friend. She has absolutely no idea that I'm getting this for her, but it is this blue Safiano leather um, jet set wallet, and it's also a little um, wristlet as well. So she could either use this as a wristlet or she could take this off and just have a wallet like this. I'm not gonna say the price because she does watch my blog sometimes and I don't want her to know the price. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm gonna go give this to her right now and I really hope she likes it, so let's go. 
Hey guys, so it is about um, five minutes to eight o'clock. Um, I just got back um, a couple hours ago. I've just been kind of like cleaning up and stuff. So my friend loved her wallet. Like she was super, super stoked about it. Uh, she laughed so hard when um, when she got the yellow Gatorade. She was just dying, it's funny. So yeah, I did that, I gave her her wallet and then I ended up working for about an hour because they were super busy. So I was like, I'm just gonna jump in and do a little bit of work to like help them out. And then I just came home and I cleaned up a little bit. Now I'm just going to take a shower. Um, and then I'm going to end this vlog here because I imagine it is super super long already and the next vlog I'm going to be starting soon because that is going to be the carnival of chaos week. So super super excited and um yeah, I'm going to be showing you like the finished product of my Marilyn Monroe, Marilyn Monroe tattoo because it's not it's not finished yet, so I'm just going to uh, wait to do that. But uh, yeah, so I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, be sure to give a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to go down and subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. But as always, I will see you guys very soon in my next video. I love you all.